welcome to Garden Invaders from Stourbridge, which is a tad north of Athens. Yes, today's transformation is going to be another Olympian task. And the big question is, will we build a path or none? You path or none. have lost your elegance, you have. Shut it. <laughs> now, I've done the most fantastic design ever, but in order for the garden owners to win some fantastic plants, there is a catch, because they have to answer Mark's cunning gardening questions. And if they don't, it could be a Greek tragedy. It could be, absolutely. There's another question as well. What's that then? What I want to know is how exactly do you throw these? I don't know. It's all Greek to me. Just chuck it. What, like this? <laughs> nah, can't be right. Today we're invading the garden of Zoe Boras and Lamros Viennas. They got married in Greece two years ago and then decided to come to live in England. This is their first house and gardening in a strange country with a very different climate is all new to them. Can we come to the rescue and help them create a typical English country garden? Oh yes, I think so. It's a disgrace. Is it? Yeah. There are some good no, points. No, well, yeah, Even exactly. Look yeah. at the tree, nice tree. Quite a private garden. Do you know what designers are like, though? They always see the good in things. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, you see, now what do you see? think of it? I'm the digger. <laughs> I'm the digger, <laughs> Well, you expect me to say. What do you do in your spare time? Because you clearly don't dig. Um, I was trying to do in, some DIY. Yeah, in indoors. The, indoors. Indoor yeah. Decoration, okay, yeah. that's cool. Well, because here in England, you don't have so. Yeah. So nice weather, do you? What do you mean? The weather. What? You well, are, I'm sorry, you <laughs> I'm you sorry. Are, you're complaining about the English weather now, are you? Well, it it keeps on raining. It just seems that it's it's every day repeating itself with rain. Yeah, but but plants need water, don't they? Exactly. So what about the bus shelter down the end then? Well, I, think, I, I think we can do something with that. It's not great, is it? But we can improve that. It needs a bit of work. Might even move it. Who knows? Do you like English gardens? Yeah, a yeah, lot. Yeah, I love them. Yeah, because we don't have that many gardens in Greece. We don't have the weather, actually. It's because <laughs> you don't have any water, you see? That's why England's yeah. so good for gardens. But we have You're the right. sun, though, don't yeah, we? True. <laughs> who's going to be doing the gardening and who's going to be doing the questions? Guess what? You're the digger? <laughs> yep, you bet. Excellent. And you're going to be doing the questions with me? Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Well, we're going to be, I think we're across the road, in fact. <laughs> yes. In another garden, in a lovely doing, garden, doing the questions. We'll leave you two yeah. together. All right. One thing I've just got to clear up, though. Is it true that you spend half your life throwing plates on the floor in Greece? More than that. More than that? Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Are, are your cupboards full? Um, <gasps> yep. Cro crockery. They won't be for long. All right. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Let me have a try. Yeah. All right. Well, let's Still get like started that. with something. All right. Then. Right, well, let's have a look at the plan then, All see right. what we're doing. There you go, Andy. Cheers, Ben. I've decided to do an English country garden theme, right. which I hope you like, seeing as you're Greek. Thought that would fit nicely. Now, in the corner there, we're going to bring that gazebo forward because it's all shoved in the corner. It's a bit claustrophobic. Yeah. Get a bit of space around it and improve the roof and everything. Yes. Going to do some planting over in this area here and have a bit of a path through it. And then uh, perhaps some paving in the corner and a bit of a focal point as well over there. Is this behind these apple tree? Yeah, and then we're going to have some planting oh. underneath as well. Oh, so right. a bit of mystery and surprise yeah. going on in the corner. <laughs> All, All right. right. And just for the day, you're oh. going to be one of us, an invader for the day. Thank you very Specially much. Specially tailored t-shirt for Thank you. Thank you. OK. <laughs> right, now the first job we've got to do is to get on with this bed, clear all the weeds out and move those plants. Yeah. OK. So let's start digging. Yep. All get right. digging. Right, so I'll go first okay. through here. Okay. Just make way. You'll, you're probably thinking I'm carrying a wheelbarrow for no reason, but you'll find out in a minute what it's for. But first, Zoe... I'm just wondering what... You think I'm bonkers, don't you? Yeah, well, yeah, quite frankly, yeah. Do you? <laughs> Is it true? <laughs> Over here are your plants. Yeah. Okay, okay. that you could get, are going to look fantastic in your garden. First group there is the climbers, okay, which give you a lot of lovely height in the garden. You already mm -hmm. have quite a lot of height in your garden, but it's extremely unattractive. No, it's it? not. It is. No. Don't argue with me. Who's, who's the expert here? How many gardening programmes have you done? None. Absolutely. <laughs> Point positive. Now, over here. 
How rude. <laughs> Second group will be your perennials, OK? Yeah. okay. Two of them are in flower at the moment. Do you like? Yeah. Over here is your third group, the shrubs. OK, okay. yeah. OK. My favourite amongst these are ceanothus. That one? Yeah, ceanothus yeah. with the lovely blue flowers in. It attracts lots of wildlife into your garden. And then finally, look at this. Mm. Is that good or yes. what? Yes, it is. It's really nice. I use it for my food. But that's not all. We don't, I don't just give you plants, you know. Mm. No, no, no. Just a headache. <laughs> oh, you are treading a oh, You are treading such sorry. a dodgy path, <laughs> sorry, young sorry, Zoe. Sorry, sorry. I'll be kind. Are you tired? Well, my Holding arm's down. a bit tired, but I'm in control of the questions, remember that. Okay. Over there mm -hmm. are the finishing touches for your garden. Oh, but that's, that's not quite, you won't get that. That is down to him indoors. Okay? Oh. He's got to answer a question. Look, I got the, I brought this in specially for you. Come on. I'll just have a sniff at this. Alright, you have then. a you have a sniff, because those are your climbers. Good old Jasmine, it's a deciduous twining climber, so great at covering a trellis, but also produces wonderful smelly pink flowers in early summer. Clematis Fuji Museumi, no prizes for guessing, it's a Japanese variety and it produces large, bright, sky blue flowers. And it doesn't require pruning. And Selenum crispum glasnevim, or potato vine, it's a native of South and Central America. Here's your question with a bit of a Greek theme. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, you, this should be easy for you. Yeah. Which plant takes its name from the Greek word for flame? Is it rose, is it peony, or is it phlox? Phlox. You're going for phlox. What is the Greek word for flame? Phloga. Phloga. Yeah. And it's, it's phloga. It's like a softer sound, not g. It's a g. Phloga. Phloga. Yeah. Is the correct answer? Oh, yes! <laughs> you had to get that right, didn't you? <laughs> Being an expert in two languages. See, I am nice, really. <laughs> plants will be in the garden, they'll take them away in the old barrow. Joe, mate, take them away, the old plantage. I'm just marking out the bed here, and we're going to have a path, a sort of checkerboard path that moves through the plant in there. It's nice to actually sort of walk through a bed. And this is a gazebo which we're going to tart up. Now, no English country garden is complete without a nice gazebo, and we're going to paint this a nice country cream colour. And we're also going to reuse a lot of the bricks that are up on the patio there. There's a big stack of old stock bricks. They cost a fortune to buy, so it's good to actually recycle stuff like that. That's going to go down to fairly sort of rustic, traditional paving, and it's going to lead through over here we're going to have a path creating a vista down to a focal point in the corner here. A nice big pot or an urn. I think, I have a feeling it's a Greek urn but I'm not quite sure but I think Mark might know. I don't know. It's anybody's guess isn't it? I mean what's a Greek urn? I don't know. 20 drachmas an hour? No, actually it's yours. Oh sorry. Yeah. No. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> now you need to get some more plants okay. <laughs> Next group of plants up for grabs are these the beautiful perennials. Aster alpinus happy end is a low-growing perennial with rosettes of grey-green leaves and produces daisy-like pink flowers. Lilium regali is Zoe's favourite of this group. It's a hardy plant grown from a bulb and has tall stems of large trumpet-shaped flowers during the summer. Not long to wait for these to come out then. This is an oriental poppy. Fantastic, huge, bright red saucer-shaped flowers with papery petals that are produced in early summer. Absolutely gorgeous, look wonderful in the garden. Here's your question for them. Good luck, Zoe. Oh, yes. The first snowdrops can usually be seen in gardens in which month? Is it June, September or January? Oh, January, <laughs> isn't it? You're laughing at me as if you think that's a silly question. Well, isn't it quite obvious? It is quite obvious, yes, it is the right answer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Had you worried there? Oh my god, it, yeah. Didn't I? Ah, excellent. I do like to get the adrenaline running. Oh. Those are going to disappear into the yes. garden as well. Another garden invader will run across the road. What colour are those? Do you know? Well, they're green, aren't they? No, the flowers, I mean. That's a surprise. If I tell you, I have to kill you. Now, 
This old gazebo was shoved back in the corner here, which I think is a bit of a mistake because it's important to get some height into the middle of your garden, into the heart of the garden. And this gazebo can become a real feature. We're painting it this country cream here. Ben's going to give that a second coat in a minute, which is really going to give the garden a strong theme. It's going to make it feel very English. And by re-roofing it, because the old plastic stuff was completely shot, it's going to have a real good impact. What are you doing up there, Dave, with that timber? Looking at you, my soft-handed sweetheart. Look I've been you. working today. I'm just roofing <laughs> this off with uh, some pressure-treated fencing timber. It's going to last for probably 15 years. Slightly thicker on one side than the other, so the rainwater will run off lovely. And it's starting to give it a really nice effect, I think. Genius. So that's the, uh, that's the roof sorted. And we're going to grow some climbers up the front here, which thankfully have been won. But in the middle here, it's looking a bit empty at the moment. Now, hopefully, Lambros is going to win this bench. But if he doesn't, might be a bit sad in here. This is a lovely spot in your neighbour's garden, isn't mm, it? They have a lovely garden, don't they? Very nice. Mm. But your garden will be just as nice as this at the end of today in a few hours' time. I hope so. If you get the rest of the questions right and you've got some plants to put in it, obviously. Mm, that's true, yeah. OK. Well. Your next group of plants up for grabs are the shrubs. Pyrrhus flaming silver is a slow-growing evergreen shrub, but it's grown for both its foliage and its flowers. Convolvulus neorum is more commonly known as the silver bush, and I know this is one of Andy's absolute favourites. Ceanothus concha, its common name, Californian lilac. It's a hardy evergreen shrub, and it has narrow green leaves, but produces masses of dark blue flowers in late spring. Here's your question. What is the scientific Greek name oh. for the sunflower? Is it Heliphilia, Helianthos, or Helichrysum? Well, if I translate it mm. as it is, I'll go for um, Helianthos. Why? Because Heli is sun mm -hmm. and Anthos is flower, so Helianthos is sunflower. I'm not sure <laughs> for the answer if that's the right answer. It is. <laughs> Helianthus. <Yes. laughs> Very good. I am being quite nice to you, aren't I, really? Now, things are improved. We're getting on really well now. Oh, yes. Now that I'm giving away plants willy nilly. Very good. I'm going to take these plants into the back garden, see how they're getting on. Mm -hmm. Check on Lambros, make sure he's working really, really hard. Okay. You stay here, yeah. chill out. Okay. And I'll be back in a mo. Okay? Okay. All right. Hey. Hey. hey! Easy hey. tiger. It needs to go up on the left. <laughs> and it's gonna oh. need and it's gonna need painting. Well there's lots of you to do later then. Am I, am I being any help? <laughs> no. <laughs> Again. I am being helpful, look! Thank you very much. CNO's doing very well with the plants. Marvellous. These Ceanothus, yep. are these the little climbing ones or the ones that stay low? Well, they're not really climbing, they're kind of wall shrubs, which means they sort of lean against the house or fence or whatever. They don't really climb, nothing to support them. Right. So they're sort of half bush, half climber. OK, but where, tall, where are you going to put them? On the front of the gazebo there, because they need a bit of sun. So it's sunny out there. So nice one. Put them. All right, OK, this is looking good. This is a big transformation, because it, it was a bit of a mess before, and it really has kind of brought this alive, hasn't it? I'm glad you agree. Oh, it's nice It's job. a silk purse. It's a nice... Yeah, you've done a good job, actually. You so where, where do the buses go now? Uh, I'm not sure what time they're coming. <laughs> oh. Right, okay. But the band's on at half five. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. I tell you what, though, seriously, it's nice to get in the shade. It is. it's well hot today. Well, it's good because they've got a sunny patio up the top, and it's nice to have that choice in a garden. It is. I Absolutely, think. definitely. Now... What's going on down here? We've got a nice path that's going to go down there. That's going to be a vista down towards a pot at the end. Right. And then uh, you can see Dave's messing around there with some posts. Messing around? <laughs> I thought I see the anger. Hey, 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 hey. Steady. I thought for a second you <laughs> paid me a compliment. I, I was sure. No, What's no. that silk purse? Well, was here. Well, and then the bus stop. But well, while you're here, while you're here, come in here, because it's a very, very important day today, because at about six o'clock last night, Dave became a daddy! Yay! Yes! My little boy was born. Little boy, what's his name? Matthew, Matthew Matthew, Paul. top man. So, <laughs> if you're watching Matthew... Yeah! <laughs> All right? Excellent job, nice one. Where's Lambros? Oh, right, don't worry, here. <laughs> uh, Mr Trellis Painter. Hello! You can, hello! You can stop. <laughs> you can stop now. That's very nice. And look at you. You like it? I do, but look at you. All right. Breaking into a sweat. Yeah. Enjoying it? <laughs> you can tell. <laughs> what do you think of it so far? Because we're not there yet. Well, guys, 
I'm lucky. I'm lucky to have you here, 100%. You've, you've helped us. You've helped us a lot. Actually, this is a, a miracle happening over here. You were part I of it. I cannot believe that this transformation actually is happening in this garden. You think it's good now? You wait for you wait for another three hours. I found in your dining room. Oh no, another picture. Oh. Nice, look at that. Oh. Is that lovely? What, a mummy made the dress? <laughs> yes. She's a very yes. clever lady. Mm. So the next group of plants up for grabs are the lovely bay. The oh sage, yes, I like that one, yeah. The... That's nice. French lavender, it's hardy, it's evergreen, and it smells brilliant. What more could you ask of a plant? Greek bay, is an exotic plant. It's hardy only to about 15 degrees, but it's not too difficult to grow it in a pot. And a plant that I like to call Frank Sinatra because its name is Salvia Blue Eyes. Bit of plant identification to get these lovely, lovely shrubs. Okay. Okay, because you really want that bay, don't you? Yeah. For the old cooking. <laughs> now take this away. I've got three fruit trees for you, all right? There's one there, right next to you. Yeah. There's another one there. And another one here, okay? Okay, yeah. You've got to tell me which one of these trees yes. will produce a calamata. Olive tree. I'll go for the olive Why? tree. Because um, I think that uh, calamata olives are famous. Do they look a bit like these? I think so. <laughs> Correct answer. Well yes. done. We've got the plants. They'll be wished into the garden. Next up for you is a little project, but before that, anybody want an olive? Now, focal points are really important in a garden to draw the eye round. So I'm going to put a really big pot here. And it's also important that it stands out against the backdrop there, which I think I do in this shirt as well. Also, I'm going to put a path in here that leads the eye to that pot. And you can see that these posts strengthen that vista even further. Ah, excellent, some herbs, which is handy because this is a sort of checkerboard effect here and it's part herb garden and part pathway. And the idea is that if we plant the herbs in between, you can get to them easily without walking on the grass or anything like that and snip the herbs and use them for cooking and that kind of thing. But the other great thing is that during the day, the heat's absorbed into the slab and then it radiates out and makes these aromatic leaves and things smell really strong. And the great thing about it, it's nice and close to the seating area so you can really appreciate it. <laughs> okay. What are you laughing at now? Well, I don't. I still don't know my project. I'm going to ask what I'm here for. Okay, yeah. To tell you your project, all right? What you've got to do, have you ever done this before? A bit of topiarization. No. All right, basically it's the shaping mm -hmm. of a box bush, like this, and any shape you like, this is obviously a ball, mm -hmm. which look very nice planted in that container over yeah. there. Okay, okay, so what you need to use, though, is not your average hedge trimmer. These. Oh. And what you do is you go around and you just give it a little trim like that. Important to do it in the shade, so mm -hmm. if there's any moisture on the leaves, you don't burn the leaves in the sunlight. Oh, All right, I give see. it a nice mulch afterwards okay. to give it a bit of tender, loving care. You just go around and do that and shape it really nicely, all right? Okay. Making things. I, I love yeah, making things. Exactly. Would you want me to helicopter out of this? Well, I thought I'd leave it to you. Helicopter, whatever you like. It's a nice old door. We need something that's going to be in keeping with the sort of English country themes, so something a bit trad, maybe. You're talking table, aren't you? <laughs> but I know you specialise <laughs> in tables. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. You're going to tell me there isn't much wood about, aren't you? Yes. Because you've used a lot of wood in the garden. Exactly, but you can use whatever you want from the skip. Oh, thank you very much, because <laughs> I'm going to need to find some feet. Now, nothing could be more English in a garden than a traditional herringbone brick path. Look at that, it's fantastic. Lambroth knocked down a wall inside his house and we've recycled the bricks here. These things can cost 70 or 80 p each, so it's really worth it. It takes a long time to clean them up with a hammer and a bolster or you can rub them together to get the old muck off, but it really is worth it. But once you've recycled the bricks, you need somebody to lay them. And as luck would have it, I've got a Dave. You've got a Dave. <laughs> You've got me, have you? So how are you doing it? We've been doing it on a dry screed, sharp sand and cement. Screeding off like that. Keep the bubble nice and level. 
come back to just over a slab length. On a show. And this is just sharp sand and cement. Just isn't sharp it? sand and cement. About five or six to one's enough. And we pop the little fella down. Like that. Lovely. Give him a little tapsy tap tap. And the job is a good one. Don't take any more off. It'll be bald. No, I won't. Oh, your head, you mean? <laughs> yeah, you see, you're getting carried away. Look what you've done. <laughs> it's very nice, though. It's got a lovely rounded shape, uh -huh. and you planted it quite well as well. Mm, Kept the compost you. about an inch below the edge, which is quite good, because it doesn't all flow over if it rains or you mm. water it. Matching pair, very important they match. Anyway, shall we move on? I'll mark these. <laughs> Now this is Convolvulus cneorum, and it has this great white flower there and it opens in the sun. You can see it's already closing because it's coming to the end of the day now. Now this is a really good plant for hot, dry places. If you've got a heavy soil, something like a clay, you'll need to put in lots of grit, that kind of thing. But these silver leaf plants, it's a good indication they like a hot, sunny site because they come from the Mediterranean areas mostly and they grow in fairly poor soils. So plant this hot, dry site, free draining soil, Dead easy, don't have to do a thing to it. Now this is a fantastic plant. This is called Salvia Mainacht, which is German for May night, because that is when it flowers at its best and it looks brilliant. It's got this wonderful bluish purple flower, and that's really good because when dusk comes, it sort of glows in the dark, it gleams. It's one of the last plants that you see at night. It'll spread, get a nice big clump, get to about 50 centimetres tall, maybe a bit higher, a little bit of sun or even a little bit of shade. It's great, it grows almost anywhere. Now this is Pyrrhus Flaming Silver. It's a great plant for shade, partly because it has variegated leaves, so it makes the space look a bit brighter. It needs an acid soil, so if you want to know if you can grow it, look next door, see if they've got azaleas and rhododendrons growing, that kind of thing. If they've got it, you can have this. Look at that, that's fantastic. Do you like that, Andrew? Oh, I do. It looks properly old as well, Properly it? old, properly what it old. is. It's properly old, this. I've yeah. sanded it down to give it that nice patina. Oh, of lovely. All right, but underneath, just an old fence post, you see? Ah, a bit of three by three. You've even painted it your country cream your to country match the gazebo. You see, it's all in... Look at that, you, know, you put your finger up my nose, then. <laughs> it's, it's all in the detail. It is. It's a big moment, Lambros. All right. And I've done you a favour because I've taken you out of the garden because, frankly, you're melting. <laughs> <laughs> you bet I am, yeah. You've worked very hard. Well, I would like to try and help you guys. You've done very well indeed. And if you get this question right, mm -hmm. and you get the rattan seat, the cushions, the torches, and so we will be very grateful. Here we go, mate. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Thank you. Bluebells are widely found in which habitat? Is it woodland? river edges or open grassland? I will go for woodland. You're going for woodland? Yep. Just finish that off. It's quite artistic, don't you think? Yep. It's the right answer. All right. Yes! Thank you very much. Very good. Thank you very much. Top job, mate. Top job. You well get done. the goodies. You can now go inside and have a wash. Remind us mm -hmm. what your garden looked like first thing this morning. Yeah, um, it was lovely. It had a nice lawn. What? And... <laughs> no, your garden. About your garden. <laughs> Look at this garden. This garden. Are you <laughs> not some fantasy what been, garden? What have you been doing all day? <laughs> Living in a dream world. <laughs> all right, let's again. Um, well, to be quite honest, it was quite boring. Mm. It was square and boring. That's was, about it. It was not very good, was it, at all? It's now time to look at your new garden. Open your eyes. Ah! Do you like it? 
Wow. We've moved your gazebo and we've brought that forwards a bit so you can see it a bit oh, more. Oh, yeah. You did like it, you said you liked oh. it. So we've brought it a bit nearer so you can have a good look at it. And put a new roof on it. Look oh. at the new roof. Wow. You'll never oh. find a bus shelter that looks <laughs> like that now. <laughs> oh, my God. Bit of a herb garden oh. going on down here with oh. some stepping stones. Oh, those are the plants I have won. Absolutely. Yeah, that's right. All down to you. Can you imagine, if you hadn't got any of those questions right, how bare and barren this would look. And we've reused all your old bricks over there as well. But we brought some new slabs as well, rather than just be cheapskates. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. And then at the end, you can see we've got a massive pot there. Great big pot. It's a bit of a focal point. You see, great big urn. Easy to look after, Andy? Yeah, pretty easy. You have to do a bit of weeding, because there are a lot of weeds in the soil to start with. You have to keep oh. on top of that. Mm -hmm. But all the plants are pretty straightforward. What does it mean to have mm. it finished? <laughs> Um, actually, that's the best part. You're giving us the strength to continue your work, actually. And we now definitely will be able to continue and prove you right. Excellent. Finish the rest of it. Yeah. Brilliant. Oh, so you please them. Yeah, really nice. What's yeah. I love my garden in Greek? <laughs> they are. <laughs> <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> enough energy to learn a few new skills. They obviously weren't working hard enough. Unbelievable, isn't it? Courtesy of our new friends from Greece, Lambros and Zoe. It's been a fantastic day. What oh, do you yeah. think of their dancing though, mate? Well, do you know what? What? I reckon... Time to throw with a bit of panache. We've been practicing. You go like that, go, oh! Keep dancing! I'm not throwing this one unless you dance. <laughs>